please join us in listening to the Black National Anthem. Feel free to sing along by yourself or with family members. Hello, my name is Phoenix. My pronouns are he and him. I am in middle school, well, sixth grade. I am so happy to be here and hope you guys enjoy the show. Yeah, welcome. Uh, my name is Selena. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm in the sixth grade. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this, and I'm so happy to be hosting. Up next, we have a video from the amazing Miss Adams, one of the South Shore Middle School teachers. What's up, y'all? Happy Black History Month. I just wanted to tell y'all that I'm so proud of you and all the work you've been doing in this virtual space. I know that it's tricky and I know that it's hard and I know that not being with each other is difficult, but we have been coming together in an awesome way and I'm super proud of you guys. Um, keep being great. Happy Black History Month. Thank you, Ms. Adams. Those words of wisdom are so inspiring. Did you know? Did you know Mae Jemison was the first black woman to go to space in 1987? Born in Alabama and raised in Chicago, Jemison graduated from Stanford University with degrees in chemical engineering as well as African and African American studies. She then earned her medical degree from Cornell University. Jemison was a doctor for the Peace Corps and the Liberia and Sierra Leone from 1983 to, until 1985 and worked as a general practitioner. In pursuit of becoming an astronaut, she applied to NASA. Next, we are going to listen to a spoken word piece by our assistant vice principal, Miss Yarbrough. I want to call you Bree because somehow you feel familiar to me, like family, like a cousin, a baby sister gone, not lost, but taken. Don't be mistaken, we shorten names out of love. They shorten lives out of hate. We won't wait to scream your name. So in the earth realm, it always remains. Breonna Taylor, tattooed on the winds of wind. There is no wind until women are remembered like our men. Breonna Taylor, so your name flies high. Breonna Taylor, tell heaven we cry aloud. Proud of who you were, angry for who you didn't get the chance to become. Breonna Taylor, a life ended too young. Breonna Taylor, Sandra Bland. Breonna Taylor, you're not invisible to man. Breonna Taylor, Rakia Boy. Breonna Taylor, your life won't be void. Breonna Taylor, Charlena Lyles, we won't forget, we promise. Breonna Taylor, Tierra Thomas, say her names, say her names. Breonna Taylor, justice is the target we aim. Breonna Taylor, her name will forever speak. Breonna Thank you so much, Ms. 
so much for that video, Miss Yarbrough. Really appreciate appreciate that those spoken words. Um, the next video we are going to enjoy um, is a passion piece by South Shore student Salea Sims. Imagine this. You are walking over to a small gas station. You walk in and go to the aisle where the cars are. You grab one and pay for it. You leave, grab your money, and leave out the store. A couple hours later, you see a cop car as you're walking down a steep hill as the sun sets. The cops step out of the vehicle until you put your hands up. You stare deeply into the cop's eyes and nervously wondering what's happening. You slowly lift your arms up and don't talk. You froze. You feel a sharp pain around your whole entire body. It happens six times. You black out and fall to the ground. You hear people screaming and yelling at the cops saying, He had his hands up. Why'd you shoot him? You don't know why until you realized. You died. A story taking place in real events. We miss you, Michael Brown. This happens due to racism and police brutality. It's unacceptable. You shouldn't be feeling unloved and unequal around people. <clears throat> We should all be treated equally. The more people do this thinking it's okay and they can get away with it is completely too far. Like we're just like white people besides we look different and have different colors. But overall that we are humans, not animals or murderers. So stop treating us like we are one. Has like justice. <clears throat> People getting beaten, killed, arrested, and bullied just because they're black. Now, this shows no right for this. People getting shot and killed by racism every single day. I, have, I hate having to see people feel on inequality just as much as me. It needs to stop. No one needs to feel this way due to this inequality. I want people to feel equal and not have to be shot, hurt, or even killed because of a, a color. I mean, it's a color, not a serial color, not an animal, not someone you need to shoot because they're black. Well, thank you so much for that passion piece, Salaya Sims. Really appreciate it. Did you know that Garrett A. Morgan, born in Kentucky in 1877, invented all of these things and many more? For example, he invented the traffic light, the first gas mask, an improved version of the sewing machine, and a hair straightener. Now we're going to watch a passion piece by Satchel Black. Imagine you're walking down the street and you see a black person with his hands handcuffed behind his back. He's being beaten by a police officer who's pointing a gun at him. Why is this happening? What can you do? Racism has to stop because it is killing people of color. Racism is when someone is treated unfairly because of the color of their skin. Institutional racism is when an institution like police or law enforcement, the housing department, or the education system carries out racist acts. Police departments came from slave patrols, which were formed to stop escaped slaves. Although many people think the police today have changed and are meant to help people, it is hard to see how an institution with those roots could really change. Police have a ton of power. They wear uniforms, carry guns, batons, and tear gas. They have the ability to put a person in jail. Some police even feel they have the right to kill another person who they think is dangerous. Horrifically, an officer's definition of what is dangerous usually refers to the color of a person's skin. The darker they are, the more dangerous the police think they are. Breonna Taylor, a black woman, was killed by the police who shot into her home. George Floyd, a black man, was killed when a cop put a knee on his neck. Racist institutions like police departments have caused a lot of harm in black communities. Racism in all its forms must end because people are dying because of it. There are things we can do to stop racism. One thing we can do is protest, like the protests that happened over the summer. We made signs that said things like Black Lives Matter and End Police Brutality. We marched and shouted things like no justice, no peace, 
the racist police. I'm Asian American. My skin is light brown. My baby brother is black. His skin is dark brown. No one can get on my nerves better than him, but he means a lot to me. He is my baby brother. It makes me sad that my brother would be treated differently than me if he ever ran into a cop just because of the color of his skin. Racism has to stop, but I worry it won't until people truly start to believe that Black Lives Matter. Racism has been around for an extremely long time, but if we stand up and fight, we can help end it. Thank you. Thank you, Satchel, for that inspiring um, passion piece. It was so true and really powerful. Another did you know? Did you know that in 2013, three radical black organizers, Alicia Garza, Patrice Coulors, and Opal Tomiti, or Tometi, created a Black-centered political will and movement building project called Black Lives Matter. In 2020 alone, the Black Lives Matter movement raised more than $90 million used towards the racial justice movement. Next, we are going to watch a passion piece by South Shore student Freddie Quigley. Look at all the problems going on in the world, specifically problems in the black community. When you think of where it's a black community, you probably think about police killing. While that is a very big issue, nothing hurts not only the black community, but the male community more than a broken prison and broken justice system. Personally, I believe that without prison reform, our country can never truly be great. We need it desperately in our society. Prisons nowadays, they don't promote rehabilitation for your crimes. They promote a cycle that will get people caught in it and they can never escape. Once you get out of prison, there's really nowhere else to go, nothing else to do. Watch a video about a man named Otis Johnson, a black man, got out of prison, and when he got out, went to go see his family, who essentially shunned him. He was forced out of his own uncle's home and became homeless. When you become homeless, you turn to the streets to make money. It's the only thing you can do. He was forced to be active in the streets so we could eat. In a study done by the government in 2018, it was proved that very few companies will give you a job or a chance at a job if you have been incarcerated before. The only real option is minimum wage manual labor, and a lot of times that just doesn't cut it. People, specifically men, are used and abused in the prison system. I watched a show called 60 Days In, where people go undercover in prison, and the things I saw in that show, they scared me. People would get beat up by the guards. They would get in situations where they would get jumped by other inmates because of the guards. Some people almost even dying. Many people, specifically younger men, were dogs for the older people in prison doing their bidding in order for protection. A study by the FBI proved that in prison, one of every three male inmates makes their sentence longer from something they do inside of the jail. Corporations make money off of prison, and Donald Trump threw more people in prison than any other president. He threw men in prison for petty crimes like theft of smaller items or drugs. And just so he could throw people in jail, they messed up, increased their sentence, and now people are getting rich off of 21-year-old African-American men being in prison. In conclusion, our prison system is broken and it affects a lot of men, specifically black men, who are the centerpieces of their community and family. They get caught up in the prison cycle, can never leave. I want you to think about this life. Think about what it must be like. Go, go out there, make change, sign petitions, fight. We need, our society needs us to do that. Thank you, Freddie. You really appreciate that passion piece and it's really true and yeah. Thank you for that. Did you know the first open heart surgery ever done on a human was for perm was performed by Dr. Dan Hill Williams, an African-American man born in Pennsylvania in 1856. In 1895, he co-founded the National Medical Association, a professional orga organization for black medical practitioners. This organization was instituted as an alternative to the all-white American Medical so Association that did not extend membership to black doctors. 
introducing the dance video by the Northwest Tap Connection. Look closely at who's performing. You may see some South Shore students. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of Lift and let our rejoicings rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea.
It was such an honor to be able to host this amazing celebration of Black History Month. Uh, Black history should not be cel should be celebrated every day of the year, not just now, but all the time. I mean, all the time because Black history is America's history. But it was so fun to just have this special, this special um, performance of videos and powerful people speaking. Thank you guys for celebrating Black History Month. Also, thank you guys for these amazing performances and videos. To finish this assembly, we will listen to Turntables by Janelle Monet. Teachers, after this song, the assembly will be concluded. Thank you. The table about to turn. The table about to turn. The table about to turn. Flipping through my timeline, trying to get my mind right. My city cried out. I got to cool down, but I'm under pressure. Cooking with my Crisco. Look at where my fist go. A renegade when I'm in a rage. I got to cool down, but I'm under pressure. I keep my hands dirty, my mind clean. Got a new agenda with a new dream. I'm kicking out the old regime. Elevation, education, America, you a lie, but the whole world about to testify. I said the whole world about to testify, and the tables about to, the, the tables about to. Then you should do the dishes. Burning down plantations. Uh, ain't no parking, I don't need no validation. I like sage when I'm in a rage. Uh, I don't need permission, I got my intuition. Hands dirty, 